my name is Jacqueline O'Daniels. My pleasure to visit with you this morning. I'm a fifth generation farmer in Wayne County, Illinois. That's Southern Illinois. And on our farm, we are lucky enough to produce non-GMO hay, milo, canola, and wheat. We have some red Angus cows, cows and calves. We don't fatten anything. And then we produce corn and soybeans that have been genetically modified. We produce white corn. And white corn has been a wonderful thing because within 60 miles of our farm, we've got three sources to deliver it to ADM or Consolidated Grain or Viseron at Shawneetown. We harvest our white corn in the fall. We're air dryers, and that's another one of our food grid things. We don't have a, a heated dryer, so we air dry everything, which makes it stay heavy. Has It always has usually good test weight and it's an extremely dense crop anyway. So we're hauling it now out of our bins and delivering it to one of the terminals today. They're delivering to ADM. And the, we've prepared this fall when we harvested the white corn, we already knew what fields we thought we were gonna plant our white corn that we're gonna plant 23 in. We'd already made that commitment. We've already decided planning out in the future has got to be a lot more than it used to be. We paid for our seed and our chemical and our fertilizer. So we are out on a limb, a lot of money already because we thought we had an agreement with other countries that they would take this product that we're planning on producing. So we really can't, if we change our mind, I doubt we can get the seed that we want. So you know, you won't be able to maximize your yield and if you get drought tolerant or not drought tolerant or fixed ear, things that we believe are extremely valuable to stay in business, we won't be able to get those. And I'm, I'm sick about it, it's, it's a worry.